yo yo what's up this is going to be a follow-up video on now that we are on the uad ride i thought i would do an updated my favorite uad plugins currently and what i've been using the last few years especially since my last video that one kind of went a little crazy so the la2a silver which i mentioned in my last video 1176 the rev a specifically i have the ssl channel strip which is really nice i have the uad ssl bus compressor which i kind of fell in love with it recently um probably the last like couple months but uh yeah i'm going to talk about the emt 140 and the ams rmx uh reverb this is my favorite usually when i set this plugin up um i keep it in every now and then i'll mess with the limit mode because sometimes that can sound really cool but usually i just keep it in the compression uh mode high frequency knob i usually just keep it default i just leave it as is i like to shoot for peaks to be hitting around five to seven i feel like specifically with this plugin that's where the magic lives on this thing so i'm gonna play the full mix for everything for this song we make love it's a vibe Yesterday we collide. But yeah, you know, it sounds really good in my opinion. When it's the wrong place in time. I mean that's just by itself, and you can really hear that it's uh do, doing the doing its mojo, you know what I'm saying? The second one is this 1176, the blue stripe, aka the Rev A. I don't usually use this on vocals a lot. This is usually being used for my drum crush. And that's even if I'm using, uh, if, I really don't ever do any parallel stuff, but when I do, um, this is the compressor that's on there. So let's see, like if I break down this section and let's just say I sent all of this to the drum crush and let's do this. I mean, it's just like really gnarly, but it sounds really good. Um, obviously, like I have other things going, but but a lot of the crushing obviously is being done by this uh, specific plugin. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? It sounds really cool. So this is how I would set it up for a vocal. It, I mean, I really like the slow attack. Um, obviously, depending on the vocal, but especially for something like this where it's a lot slower, I do like that attack to be a lot slower and the release to be a little bit quicker, if not more of like a medium setting. We make love, it's a vibe. And I like this specific 1176 versus the other ones because this one's a little bit more dirtier in my opinion. And it does something to the top end that I like. It's a little crunchy. And sometimes you can use that to your advantage with just using this compressor and getting that vocal to really cut through. A ratio of eight can sound really cool with this thing. We make love, it's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a little bit more in your face. You can sound cool. Now the next one is the SSL 4000E from UAD that I like a lot. I mean, you know, me personally, I do enjoy uh, using channel strips because it's quicker for me because it has a compressor, it's got filters, it's got an EQ, um, and you know, you can drive it with a little bit of saturate it's got everything you need in one plugin which i feel like is a good starting point when you're starting to mix or even while you're recording you can kind of dial in something cool as you go and set like a vibe and kind of where the mix would start going i'm hoping it goes native i'm sure it will because if it does i'm switching this out for the plugin alliance for sure um i think this one sounds the best though out of all the ssl channel strips this one is definitely 
top dog for sure uh, especially this um i think this is a transformer having this button alone uh, is like a game changer it sound it just sounds really good um but you know like i said i'm just choosing this one because i think it sounds the best out of all the channel strips in my opinion and i always think it's a good idea to own a channel strip especially something like an ssl or an api because it also if you're you know new to this um it helps you understand signal flow and stuff and kind of just keeps it fresh in your mind so typically what i would do for setting up a channel strip for a vocal i really like the compressor on this um it sounds really good and it's usually my first compressor in a vocal chain um the filters on this plugin sounds really good and in general on an ssl in my opinion they sound really good we make love it's a vibe so, you know, usually I'll cut out like 120, um, a little bit of two, 200 to 300, you know, just, to, you know, depends on the song, depends on the voice, but usually then maybe five to 700, a little bit of that honkiness, kind of a little bit wider cue for that. And then especially if it's a singer, get that two to three K out but a little bit a little bit pointier cue um, and then ratio for me it's always four to one I'm assuming this is four specifically on this plugin um, and then a little bit slower sometimes I'll keep the release straight up because to me and the way I like to think about it, it's more of a medium release every now and then i'll mess with the fast attack because sometimes i do like the way that it grabs this specific compressor i like the way it grabs transients it sounds really cool and like i said specifically this plugin i do like to add this um transformer in but the only way you can get it is if you put it in mic mode obviously it's working in line mode since technically we're in, in mix mode that's how the console would work hit the flip button and then hit the tw uh, 20 db pad and then I'll bring it back up to where I was at. Usually I would do this first. Like I said, it's just a demonstration video. And then I'll kind of just uh, I don't know what it does, but it's like, it's a little bit thicker and silkier. That's the only way I can explain it. I don't know what they're doing with this or like what it is, but whatever they did, it's a really, they did a really good job with it. But yeah, that's that. And then the next plugin I'll show, I'll do a reverb next, kind of get out of EQ and compression for a little bit. So right now this is the AMS, which has been playing the entire time. The AMS reverb. We make love, it's a vibe. But I'm the wrong type of guy. And then muted. I know. Yesterday we collide. And then unmuted. When it's the wrong place in time. I know. And then let's compare it to the EMT uh, 140. This is another plug. These are two plugins that I really wish would go native. I hope they do. We make love, it's a vibe. But on the wrong time. Actually, let's like, I'll do it similar. So let's see, decay time around four. Uh, we have like negative four. I mean, I don't know what that's going to be. Let's just assume it's this uh, for the filter. I mean, it's an ambience mode, but I still try to go for like a plate sound no matter what. So anyways sort of similar settings but you know at least you can you'll hear the difference between something that's supposed to be digital and something at least something that's supposed to be like a real plate basically so here's the emt we make love it's a vibe and then here's the ams but i'm the wrong type of guy i know and then back to emt yesterday we collide 
When it's the wrong place in time. And then both. I know. Sometimes you can get you can get really cool things with combining both. But definitely two different vibes for sure. They both sound great. And then the last plugin that I had on my list was the G Bus. I usually like the filter about whatever this is. It's this dot. <laughs> um and then my release, I like to do 1.2. And then my attack weirdly i do like a faster attack no matter what the song is um you know obviously it's really not working then yes i will try to make it uh work with the song but generally for whatever reason i do like between sometimes one works that's pushing it but sometimes it will work but it's usually three to ten um milliseconds is what i like and then you know we'll get a little bit of compression going. Love. and let me unsolo we make love, it's a vibe But I'm the wrong type of guy It just no, like It just really today. like the drums, the bass and everything Just kind of get pushed up and like sucked in In like a nice way Here's with the compressor We make love, it's a vibe You can really listen, listen to but I'm the, the drums and bass And then, you know the vocal comes out a little bit more and everything like obviously there's a little bit of gain going but we make love, it's a vibe. you can really but on the wrong time I mean it's really not that much different it's just the fact that everything kind of comes up um, specifically the vocal and the drums and bass always come up but um yeah those are pretty much all my plugins really you know, it was a really quick uh, run through. If you want me to break down something more specific, just let me know and I can do that. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, these are pretty much my top favorite UAD plugins as of now, both native and Spark. And these are available in both. But yeah, this is it. This is pretty much all the plugins that I like.